Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video, I'm going to be going over my first reactions uh, from the uh, release of the trailer for Shadowlands, the next uh, WoW expansion that just came from the uh, the uh, Blizzard, uh, the BlizzCon. I don't even know. I'm stumbling over. I'm kind of excited. I just watched the uh, the trailer and um, the kind of the little bit of sneak peeks, and we have more information coming later today. But I want to get a video out uh, about my first reactions to it. Uh, before I go into making eventually individual videos about the things that interest me the most. Uh, keep in mind, this is coming from an Alliance perspective. I've only ever uh, really played Alliance other than some random leveling. So uh, my my experience, my, my thoughts could differ from you if you play Horde, just based on the things that, you know, interest me the most. So my big takeaway from the first, so the first thing, um, at this point I will say spoilers <laughs> in case you haven't watched it, uh, but if you if you watch uh, anything on my channel you probably already have seen that. Um, but um, so the first thing you see is a little cinematic between Sylvanas and the Lich King who is Bolvar. Uh, Bolvar was the basically like the steward of Stormwind, uh, guarding Anduin when he was a kid and Varian was gone. Um, so, and he was like the leader of the Alliance army and he's just like a badass. So he chose to be the Lich King, put the helmet on and whatnot. We see Sylvanas and him fighting. Sylvanas is clearly outmatching him, which isn't too weird. Uh, although he is the Lich King, it's not like he's had, uh, he's not like the, he's not like Arthas, right? He's not as badass as Arthas. So it's not too weird that she's destroying him. Plus she has the power of the void, uh, which will probably see more of in the Shadowlands and how that ties in so she has like a little bit of extra power as well so she handles him pretty easily and takes the crown off of him and then she destroys the crown and when that destroys it opens up a portal to the Shadowlands um, and that's or just opens up the ability to travel to the Shadowlands even if that's not an actual portal so that that's pretty cool in itself the cinematic was great um, what I something that I took away again maybe as an Alliance player is the, the voiceover of it uh, was was Bolvar. So um, even though she took the crown off him, it didn't show her killing him and finishing him off or anything. So I'm wondering if Bolvar is actually going to rejoin the Alliance or what what is he going to do, right? Is he going to uh, lead the Death Knights? Or what, what is Bolvar going to do now? Um, uh, and that's something that interests me a lot. Uh, so that's my takeaway from the cinematic. Then we get a little bit into the... Uh, what they're showing is like the gameplay. So uh, one big thing was they showed the covenants. So you're going to be able to choose a covenant. So basically choose a faction that you're going to team up with. So more recently we've just been told what factions we're teaming up with. And this expansion in BFA, you know, uh, like in Nazitar, you either teamed up with the little goblin things or you teamed up with the Jinyu looking guys. Uh, and those were your like you're told who you're going to team up with and this you're going to get to choose it seems and it seems like there was based on the video it looked like there may be four choices total but maybe there's only two uh but it looked like from they showed four different things right after they mentioned covenant so uh, uh it looks more like the aldor scryer uh uh setup so if you remember from bc you chose aldor scryer and that almost superseded whether you were a horde or alliance um and i like that a lot i like i like I, that is the way to go forward in, in my opinion with the game, uh, making it a little bit less factionless and a little bit more just about the choices you make. So I'm super excited about that if it is if it does end up being like an Aldor Scryer uh, type mechanic in the game. Other than that, I'm just uh, the the zones look pretty cool to me. I've seen some people hating on them a little bit. I am I actually like uh, the Gilnean type stuff. So they there's like a, a dead Gilnean type area, like a burning dead undeath Gilnean type area. I actually kind of like that. Some people didn't like that. Um, and uh, th there was like a really cool, almost like a, one of the covenant is like a, almost looks like heaven, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, so that looked kind of cool. Uh, and I, I don't know, I thought it was pretty neat. Now, the, the, and the last thing I'll talk about this video, and I'm going to do an entire video about it, is a level squish. Uh, that wasn't even actually mentioned, but I'm just going to throw that in here uh, as one of my first reactions. This is amazing, and I will get into that in a separate video. That'll probably be the next video that I do. But we're going to be squished from 120. If you're at 120, you're going to be squished down to level 50 in the expansion. Um, and then we will level up to level 60 uh, to reach the new max level. 
Uh, talents won't be as spaced out. There's, the talent system is staying the same as of now. Talents won't be as spaced out though. When you're leveling from level one, you know you're gonna get a talent at least every it's like every five levels, and the last one's at fifty or something like that, ish. Maybe the first one's at level ten. It, it works out. Uh, the math isn't adding up in my head right now, uh, but. It's something along those lines. Whether you get the first one at level 10 or level 15 or whatever, and then it's like every five levels you get a talent. So uh, that's kind of how the leveling is going to work. It's I'm guessing the, it ties in with the, uh, the the opening up of the zones, choosing your zones. You'll probably just be able to choose to level wherever the hell you want now uh, at any level because it's all just 1 to 60 now. So uh, Except for the final 10, I'm sure you'll have to level in whatever new starting areas, or maybe not. Maybe they're just going to add new quest to the current starting areas, but I highly doubt that. Uh, they're going to keep going with the model that they've been doing where we level up in the Shadowlands, I'm sure. So, um, super pumped about it though. I'm super excited. Uh, and uh, I'll look forward to making more detailed videos about the individual aspects uh, in this this week and the next coming week, hopefully. So, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. And everybody, have a good one.